Stranger Things is coming back to Hawkins in season five, and the fans are scared. The anticipation and thrills of what's coming have made fans think of different weird theories. Let's find out the creepy ones that could really happen. Eleven's dad is Vecna. The weird theory that Vecna could actually be Eleven's biological father isn't only interesting, but has a likely possibility of being uncovered in season five. This was heavily backed by the hosts of the Just Nobody's podcast, as they shared the theory on TikTok and came prepared with receipts of dates, numbers, and timelines. They began the video by letting the fans know how and when Eleven's mum, Terry Ives, became a part of the MK Ultra experiments that were going on at the Hawkins lab in 1969, which was followed by Eleven's birth in 1971. This proves that Eleven's mum got pregnant during the experiments around 1970. It gets better from here after the hosts reveal that in 1959, one, who's also Vecna, was shown to be 12 years old at the time, which makes his age fall around 24 the year Eleven was born. The assumption is that Terry and Vecna got together to make Eleven under Dr. Brenner's influence. Dr. Brenner, who's known to be so invested in the experiment at Hawking's, was going to go through any length to produce someone as powerful as Vecna, and he waited to see him get old enough to produce Eleven. The hosts in their explanation mentioned how it was possible to only have one and Eleven as the most powerful when they said, The theory is that Brenner knew that none of the kids' numbers 2 through 10 were as strong as number 1, so Dr. Brenner waited for 1 to get older to make him breed with Terry Ives to create 11, to make sure that she was the strongest. And clearly, she is. Even though the Duffer brothers introduced Eleven's real dad as Andrew Rich, her mother's ex-boyfriend, it could be a convenient effort to mask the revelation surrounding Eleven's birth. Like the hosts mentioned, the story isn't meant to be plain and straightforward as the fans can see the timelines, ages, proofs check out. And this is why this theory is super scary, because they could be faced with it in season five. Will hosts Vecna. That Will could feel Vecna in the season four finale thrills the fans into a possible Will and Vecna alliance in season five, as the latter could use Will's body as a host to perform his final destruction plans on Hawkins. Although fans are happy that Will will definitely get a front row seat again in the show, it's a scary theory that could really happen and destroy many good foundations they've ever known. A fan expressed how the Stranger Things plot started with Will and is set to end with Will in their post that says, The moment Will touched his neck, I knew season 5 is going to be his season. It started with Will, it's going to end with Will. This theory doesn't appear to be just one of those things, given Will's previous history with the Upside Down and what he went through with the Mind Flayer. It shouldn't be overlooked that Will also shares some similar with Henry Creel that portray them both as isolated and lonely, so getting Will to host him would be the most convenient option for him. Despite Nancy, Robin, and Steve's attempts to get rid of Vecna, they were only able to destroy his body, which meant Vecna would take over a new host, who's likely going to be Will. Eddie is alive. Eddie's demise is the reason why many fans continue to dislike the Duffer Brothers' method of always putting an end to the least favorite character. To find ways to keep Eddie's memory fresh and alive, some some fans have come up with this theory that he could turn up fine in season 5, and it's so weird that it might actually happen. As it was in the show, Eddie's courageous stunt to lure away the wild bats was one of the finest moments of season 4, in which Eddie didn't survive. His demise was later confirmed by Dustin, who spoke to his uncle and informed him how Eddie was a hero till the end. This has sparked many debates online, as some fans claimed Eddie's demise wasn't real. They said only Dustin mourned Eddie as the rest of the gang were carefree and and that's a loophole that shows he might still be alive. Others agree that because the timing at Upside Down differs from Hawkins, Eddie could still be saved. However, another touching reason why this theory hits hard is that Vecna could resurrect Eddie in Season 5 as a different character called Cass. With how Eleven was able to get Max to come back to life miraculously by her powers, the fans also believe that Vecna could do the same for Eddie given how powerful he is as well. Max's fate. Will Max turn out fine or is she going to be in that state that Season 4 left her in for a long time? Max's life hangs on a thread and she was left in a coma after Eleven brought her back to life, which Lucas explained explained was a miracle, as her heart literally stopped and she was presumed gone for a minute. Even though she's alive, her almost gone phase was enough for Vecna to get his fourth chime, which eventually opened the gate between the two worlds. Also, Dr. Brenner already informed Eleven how Vecna consumes his victims and makes them part of himself, and if Vecna was successful with Max, that means she's been consumed by him. The fan who put forward this theory in their post said, So, season 5 of Stranger Things will definitely be about 
about defeating Vecna and regaining Max's soul. They said Vecna absorbs his victims, so right now he has Max's soul. And as soon as they get that back, the gates might close. Right after Eleven visited Max at the hospital, she found out Max's mind was blank, which means Vecna has her, and Max is just an empty body on the hospital bed. For Max's life to be secured, Vecna would have to be gotten rid of. That was the aim anyway, to defeat Vecna finally, and now that Max's fate hangs on it, it appears what's coming for Hawkins will meet a lot of anger and resistance, enough to sweat out the fans in season 5. Evil Clock The clock chiming whenever Vecna is about to strike isn't coincidental as it made many appearances in season 4 and is going to be a major point for season 5. According to the fans, there's more to Vecna's grandfather clock than meets the eye as they believe it aids him in seeing into the past, present and future. A fan went ahead to support this theory with evidence that suggests Vecna's confidence in his conversation could be as a result of his ability to see through the future with the help of the clock. They said Vecna's dialogue always implied that he was overconfident, saying things like, you can't stop this now, you have already lost, this is the beginning of the end, and there is nothing, nothing you can do to stop this now. It all makes me think that he knows the future, just like he showed Nancy. Looking at what Vecna showed Nancy, it appeared too real, like a bad prophecy hanging on Hawkins. Nancy, who was shocked after the experience with Vecna, narrated what she saw to her friends, who were shocked as well. She told them that he showed me things that haven't happened yet, the most awful things. I saw a dark cloud spreading over Hawkins, downtown on fire. Nancy also touched on how she saw a mighty army of giant creatures and how they invaded their homes, how she was able to see her mum and her siblings in the destructive scenes, and how it was some of the most heartbreaking stuff to see. With all this strange damnation knocking on Hawkins, the fans believe season 5 isn't just going to be about the beginning of the end, but also more on Vecna and how he was able to use and connect with the clock to his advantage. A bigger villain It's always war with villains in every season of the show, and it's only getting nastier as season 5 approaches. The game Dungeons & Dragons is what every fan of the show is familiar with from the first season, where the kids had to play it after saving the world. From season 1 of playing the game, the kids hinted at the Demogorgon, which later manifested to become a reality. In season 2, Two, the Mind Flayer sprung up too, and the next monster the fans are expecting, according to this theory, is Thessal Hydra. The Thessal Hydra is a huge monster that fits into Nancy's description of what Vecna showed her about the future, and the same image Will painted in his drawing that he gave to Mike. A Redditor defined how the resemblance between the Dungeons and Dragons characters is like Will's painting when they said, D&D lore describes some creatures that resemble the one in Will's drawing, including Tiamat, Thessal Hydra, the Tarrasque. Fans of this theory also believe that this monster was hinted at when Steve, Robin, Nancy and Eddie were in the Upside Down at Skull Rock, and heard the wails of a creature that sounded nothing like the Demogorgon or Demobat, as its wails caused the ground to shake and outrageously caused little earthquakes. A fan backing this theory said, when the kids experienced the second earthquake going up the stairs in episode 9, if it's a giant monster like Nancy was saying, I think it's what was causing all those earthquakes in the Upside Down, and that we are about to see it in season 5. With what you've heard so far, you'd admit these theories get weirder and the chances of them happening even bigger. Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.